Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist on this channel. I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants, whether that be in the garden or in the house. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about bolting and exactly what's going on with the plant, how we can prevent it, and if it's already happened, if it's reversible, or if any portions of the plant are still edible. So let's just jump straight into it. Bolting is a very common phenomenon that we are going to see this year in Western Canada, specifically because of the high heat. Crops that we typically plant will bolt. Um, crops that typically do well in our environment aren't going to do too hot this year, and it is because of the higher heat. However, in some cases where it gets cold very quickly, we can end up with bolting as well, which means bolting is just a plant's response to stress. And that can be hot, cold, over pruning, you name it. If it's stressed and it thinks that its life cycle is almost over, it is going to do everything in its power to make seed in order to spread its offspring. And so the only way to prevent bolting is by actually reducing stress. So when it is very hot outside, the key to reducing stress is lots of water and reduced fertilization. If you have bolting due to high sun and maybe not necessarily high heat, Say you planted something in full sun that maybe should have been put in part shade it may involve some shade cloth but shade cloth watering and pulling back on fertilizer is all the key when it gets too hot outside now if it's getting too cold outside and you think your plant may bolt it may be time to consider using a high tunnel or placing it in a greenhouse to prevent that flowering now after this has happened it is too late. You cannot reverse this. You cannot simply just uh, chop off that flower stem and hope it will eventually turn into the plant you originally wanted. That is not, not the case, unfortunately. So you have to either follow through with the seed process and either grab some seeds off there for next year or you can eat the leaves and actually strip down that main stem and those leaves will be edible. Now, some people do think that these are a little bit more bitter or woody, which can be the case because we have you know, quite different hormones actually going through the plant itself, but some people don't notice the difference. If your plant does bolt, I have one piece of lettuce right now that is bolting, you know, capitalize on it, save the seed that comes from it and use it for next year. The seed saving process from a bolted plant is similar to the seed saving process of any plant. Um, in particular, you don't need to ferment a lot of plants that bolt. You can actually just harvest the seed after the actual flower has dried out. So leave the plant intact until it is flowered, formed seed, and then in the fall harvest it bring it indoors. In some cases you may want to research the natural habitat of the plant to determine if it needs scarification or fertilization in order to germinate the next year. But other than that, you're good to go. You're gonna save a bit of cash for next year. And that is not always a bad thing. So in my garden, the plants that bolted versus the two plants that did not bolt are in the exact same planter. So you're probably wondering, what was the cause of it? Well, in Saskatchewan right now, it is currently, as I'm sitting outside at eight o'clock at night, it is 30 degrees, it was 40 degrees Celsius during the day, so it's very, very hot. Now, keep in mind that heat doesn't always cause this, it's a combination of things. And so the plants that bolted and the plants that didn't bolt are exposed to the same levels of ambient temperature. The one thing that the plant that did not bolt was not exposed to was high amounts of sun. So there is a tree right here that actually casts a bit of a shade over top of this raised bed behind me, but it only casts the shade to approximately the halfway point, meaning the little bit of shade that was cast on my unbolted lettuce was enough to prevent the bolt compared to the one that bolted. So in this case, if I would have just simply applied a bit of shade cloth or not even shade cloth, but just shade in general, whether that be in the form of plywood, a plastic, you know, container, something to shade out that plant, I wouldn't be in this situation. However, I did not apply that because I've got lettuce growing in various other places in my garden. I don't mind if something does bolt. And so I have a bolted plant, but it made for a great plant uh, video opportunity. So if you guys learned something new, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up. 
hit that subscribe button. Come follow me on the Gardening in Canada Facebook page that we've officially put together where you guys can post your questions, your answers, your ideas. Um, it's just a community of us. There's only around 100 so far that have joined it, but the information being shared is very valuable. Lots of tips and tricks, very positive. Um, it is a private group, so I'm the one doing the approval process. So when you do add yourself, if I don't add you right away, it's just because I'm busy. It's not because you're denied, but I just want to make sure that there's no spam in there. Um, there's no like crazy gimmicky marketing happening in the group. I want it to be purely Canadians um, and Northern Americans, you know, people from all over the world in colder climates, helping each other out with the gardening or the, just the plant care experience in general. Without further ado, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.